Your name is strong and mighty. Your name is glory, all sing raised. In Him we are saved. The name of Emmanuel Obayo, a pastor in a gospel student, government student fellowship, Ambrose Ali Shanta. How will you describe the preparation for gospel pastor in this situation? The preparation, well, the preparation was awesome uh, from the starting, even though the devil raised his ugly head, but thank God, according to what our daddy in the Lord said, that he will not always have his way. So we thank God, the preparation was awesome, and we can see the equipment, everything on stage, everything are on point. And uh, you know, God really take over. So we thank God for the preparations. People really took in, they put in their human efforts even for the success of the program. And as we can see, the program is successful. What's your message for other campus fellowships, other institutions as we are embracing programs like this? I think this should be uh, a, a welcome event. Because I can say this is the biggest gospel event happening in Hembo Ambrose Ali University, even for this semester. We believe that more of it will still come, and uh, we want to encourage institutions outside here or other campus fellowships, even in this school and outside the school, that this is a, is a kind of event that we should organize even for our fellowship. You know, something baffles me that instead of us using our money to invite musicians that are not godly and worldly, but they are two together. We can get our money together even to organize this kind of event, even to influence life for the kingdom of God. So I will encourage them to always welcome this, especially when you are not putting in your own resources. The Crusade, the Crusade uh, team is putting in their resources, so it should be a welcome event. It should be, it should be a welcome stuff that we should accept. And as we accept it, I believe God will help us. Thank you very much. Okay, my name is Baya Deyemi. I'm the head pastor, or rather the founder of Show Mercy Family the immediate past program director, I'm a foreign level banking and finance student of this institution. Now, it's so painful that uh, I'm actually graduating at this point. And I really want to appreciate the name of the Lord that I gave that opportunity because at a point, it was within my office, being the program director then, either to approve of a program or to disapprove. But uh, uh, at a point I consider, because I'm a, of course I'm a Yoruba guy, I consider the, the strength, the zeal of the workers of this outreach ministry. And I said, no, it can't just go down the drain. So when the uh, JSF Bishop called me, I said, what will you say? I said, of a true, it's exam period, but who will serve God, will serve God. Let's just go ahead. And I want to thank God that I did not make an otherwise decision, because personally I'm blessed. Like today, I received an instant miracle. That's just the truth. I, I woke up this morning with, it's as if my throat was burning, like it was burning. I even told one of my members to please get me to, immediately that they finished praying. This one is not state managed. I can, I'm saying it. Immediately finished praying, everything gone. I can swallow everything, it's just okay for me. So I can imagine if, because at a point I wanted to push this program to the next section. And if you push it to the next section, I would have graduated by then. And I would have missed out. I would have missed out. And it, it was wonderful, it was mind blowing. The message was what we need, was what pastors need, was what everybody needs. Like Daddy said that uh, it's not emotional. You know, in this dispensation, uh, 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 youth, we appreciate preachers that jump from one post and then telling them you will receive a lot and the rest. But these are the message that we need. And I'm so glad that we got the message. I got the message. I'm taking it back to my people. I'm taking it back to Abuja when I graduate. And I, I trust God that maybe any of my visits to Korea will locate that place. It's wonderful if I must say the truth. It's wonderful. And I thank God. A message management of our institutions and other campuses. The supporting role that it's Now, uh, uh, you know, I said it before and I said, when we're like comparing the, out, uh, the output of this place at Noe, I said, number one, OAU is a is located in the Yoruba land. This place, this that is not the first person to tell us that there's spirit of immorality, and which is true. 
I've been a pastor in this campus for my first year and I know what we contend with. Thank God for grace, thank God for self-discipline. I, I wish the management would have taken advantage of this change that visited the AU. I know nevertheless that the impact will still be, will still be felt for a quite long time. Though by God's grace, our visa, our current VC professor Nimao, is in line with Christ, he's been giving God. I'm sure maybe it's because of the late preparation, the impromptu invitation, but we still need more of this. We still need more of this. I personally delivered the letter to my HOD. I know it was not going to come because, you know, men seeing that this picture alone, you will know what it represents. The, the Bible talks about something called the spirit of the just men made perfect. When you see them, you know. You know it's not the, kind, it's not the message you want to hear. But it's not about what you want to hear, it's about what God is saying at that particular moment. And for any school or any other institution that will get this kind of invitation, if I were them, they will grab it with all their hands because it's going to... You know, one amazing thing that people keep talking about, this is a crusade that costs close to millions, I don't really know, but there was no offering. And that's to tell you that these people actually came for souls. You know, we've had a lot of pastors coming to campus and they, they want to raise seed for this. God is laying in their heart for this. We even had to make inquiries that should we take off me? They said, no, it has never happened before. I'm a pastor, I know, I know what I'm talking about. So any other institution, any other institution that will get this privilege, they should embrace it. Me, for me, uh, I think they should not even wait for God's fire crusade to come. They should send out a letter to invite them. They should not wait. Because we have a lot of institutions in campus. You should just wait. Like, when I get back to my house now, any little thing I want, I just want to get the opportunity to bring. Because this message, as a pastor, it changed my life. Oh, I was touched. I will, it's, not, it's not a sweet talk. That's all. It, it was a lifetime encounter. And I'm not sure I can recover on time. So it was wonderful. My prayer for the team, God be strengthened them. Especially uh, God's servants. God will give him more insight. The message he preached today was just a topic they gave to him yesterday. Not that he prepared for. And then just, just imagine. And for, for an advanced pastor to preach and was able to carry the youth along. If it is not anointing, then tell me what is it. I was there when the bishop told him that the message for today is going to be the wonderful name of Jesus. And it was as if we told him long ago. Even when, because at a point we didn't want to invite any guest speaker. We wanted our, pre, our current president to preach. But later, Bishop now told me that, okay, how about we tell him that he should stay behind on Sunday. We were in the meeting, I don't know, maybe we were the one we call or maybe I don't know the person they were communicating with. And we are like, that Sunday is very important, that Sunday is very important. Just look at, just imagine what we would have missed. I'm blessed. And I just thank God I did not postpone this program to next session. Because I would have graduated. And it's, in fact, I know I wouldn't have come. And uh, hearing alone, I, I, for the first time I've experienced this miracle. I'm, I'm telling you the truth, though. I'm telling you the truth. It's not stage managed. I am too. I don't do all those kind of. I fear God, so I cannot lie. You can't lie to praise God. See that you said it. I experienced an instant miracle today, today, and so do so many other persons. May the Lord strengthen God's heart to say. God will take them places. Or uh, God will send men their way. I really don't know their source of finance. But it's my prayer that uh, 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 people freely, you don't have to cajole people, they will come. And the work will not stop. Um, Daddy will not go hungry. His children will not, will not be guilty of his message. And the entire workers, the staff, look at putting that stage together. You guys are blessed. You are wonderful. And I